All right, you're listening to the sounds of Calvin Joshua. Calvin Joshua on the YLC Direct. This is the coach, Marcus Select. Never again. I like that. So if you want to be played here in rotation on the YLC Direct show, live and on demand, what you need to be able to do is go to Facebook to the Select USA TV's hottest links, and there you can share your music, wholesome and positive only, please, for possible rotation within the network show programming. We have several shows that we have during the week. Uh, we have the CATL show, YLC Direct, as well as Morning Bread, and we're working on some things in the Northeast, uh, Northeast region and West Coast. So if you want uh, to have a show, uh, let me just say that because that's something that we are working on. If you want to have a show, you want us to produce it, uh, then, then you can definitely, if you want to use our studios, that's one thing. But if you have uh, a nice, uh, uh, pleasant area uh, of your office or studio that you'd like to use, to, to stream live that's what we do we professionally stream live to the best of our ability with the equipment that we have uh it's looking soon to upgrade to a double double lens hd camera and some other things but if you want us to come in and help you stream something don't forget also to hit us up on facebook we are your life coach celebrating you or your life coach promoting you this is marcus select and i want to welcome you aboard all right, so there's a couple of things I want to share with you real quick. I want you to stand by. All right, we want to talk real quick and I often review these things because they bear repeating and also as I said to you earlier we're changing the format slowing things down just a tad bit because uh, the coach can go real fast you know what I'm saying but we're slowing things down just a little bit and today we want to also share before we get into our lesson this is session B or session 2 uh, on YouTube we're going to be doing 10 minute segments we're going to share today the 12 factors of nobility again, and we will be sharing them again. If I don't get to them all right there in this segment, we'll come back on next week and um, finish them up. Attitude. These are some things uh, from one of my books, one of my workbooks from the uh, Soaring Eagles Club of Atlanta that we had some years ago. Attitude, where we maintain our integrity in assessing the management of ourselves. In other words, if you're not going to be honest with yourself and the assessment thereof, then you're, you're going to make progress. You're going to always make progress, but whether or not that progress will lead you to destiny and leave legacy is another situation, or whether the legacy will lead you to understand or lead your constituents and your friends and families to understand that you are about X, Y, and Z in a positive way is left to be uh, 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 to discover. So attitude means that we've not only just got to feel good and smile and, 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 and maybe appreciate life, but we got to maintain the integrity in assessing our personal space management. Now, as you know, and I've shared this before, that the whole purpose of YLC uh, the curriculum that is, is to discover our weaknesses because we all boast about how strong we are and we all boast about how we can do this and do that. But the, the successful person or the person that has achieved the levels and have mastered the, used the mastermind as it were, these individuals always talked about their weak areas, what they overcame to get to where they are now. And then the people that have nothing always boast of what, about what they have 
and they are living from check to check. So we want to maintain integrity as we assess ourselves and not be trying to just impress other people. Purpose number two, purpose number two, purpose. Reaching and mastering my earthly intent for living and then living that intention on purpose. This is not something I read somewhere. This is not something that I got from some preacher, some uh, motivational coach. These are my thoughts, things that I believe in, that when we when we understand what purpose is, then we, we, we research as we want to understand. We research it and then we try to master the intention of our exist our, our existence try to master the intention of our earthly existence or master the earthly intent for living and then living that intention on purpose because sometimes if you sit around and you wait for your purpose to be revealed sometimes you'll never get off the ground because you're looking for something that uh, may be abstract but if you begin with the simplicity of purpose, it is a, it's my purpose to be grateful. It's my purpose to give and to help others. Part of my purpose is to leave a legacy. What am I about? What will they say about me? What will be remembered? You see? So purpose, you know, we could get into that, but that's purpose. These are the 12 factors of nobility. I'm giving you a few of these in session B. This is session B of YLC Direct. And today also we're going to be talking about, probably won't get to it into session C, mind, chemistry, and economics. Third factor of nobility, patience. Seeing the bigger picture that requires steps of discipline and balance. I'm in school. I went back to school, for those of you that know me. I went back to school, IT major, with a focus in multimedia. You know I love multimedia. I love anything digital. The point of the matter is I am still reassessing, honestly, in an integral way, my discipline as it regards to my pursuits and often I am finding I have to reshuffle and reprioritize the things that I was doing and that I need to do now to achieve a uh, selective objective for my future so it's essential that we understand that vision is seeing the bigger picture daydreaming some but whatever we do, it's going to require steps of discipline and steps of balance. I, uh, I, when you're watching this, it won't be yesterday. But on yesterday, I, I, took, I went to the park to study. Just wanted to get you know, out of the studio, out of the office, you know what I'm saying, and just wanted to relax. And then the bugs, you know, they, it became a little bit more to bear. So I went to a restaurant to finish this, just trying to change up, trying to bring balance, trying to relax, trying to, as I, as I put in place these new disciplines, as I put in place these new objectives and goals, long term, long term, short range, short range, mid range, and long term, I want to make sure I'm balanced or I'm relaxed or I'm not tense or I'm not full of anxiety. I'm working really hard to ensure new disciplines so I got to have balance I gotta uh, try it a little bit here and then maybe eat an ice cream or try a little here have some tea instead of coffee whatever the case may be I have to have both discipline and balance so that the bigger picture of which I see now can begin to manifest within me and within my my surroundings of, with those of which I have uh, to deal with on a regular basis all right, and this is the last one I'm going to give you goals for right now. 12 Factors of Mobility by yours truly, your life coach. Goals consistently outlining action steps needed to create a new reality. The reality is what I say it is. I know about the reality that is always imposed upon us, folks coming into our lanes, you know, because uh, they're on the phone and not paying attention, uh, bosses getting upset because the production uh, 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 numbers are not as high uh, to, to increase the bottom line of which he may have to answer to X, Y, Z, whatever. I understand all of that, but I am changing my reality. I am constantly changing my reality. So I have to outline my action steps needed, and I got to be willing to be flexible as I'm doing that. This is the coach, Marcus Sillette. I'm going to stop right there, take a small break, get ready for session C or sex session three, and I will be right back. You're watching your life coach direct with yours truly, Marcus Sillette, on the Select USA TV iNetwork.
Now in the background, you're listening to Carrie Simmons from the Select USA TV's Hottest Links. If you have music, post it there. <laughs> 